I'm Jennifer from Hitherside, and today is International Women's Day. I am the fire, I am burning brighter, I'm out the sun, I am the fire. And being a girl, I must say, I think it's, it's much harder to fight for your music, for your dream, for staying yourself. People judging us just based on the fact that I was female. I wasn't used to haters. My main struggle has been with like confidence and my self-image. It required me to have a thicker skin than I initially started out with. It was really hard to overcome this. And it still is sometimes hard when some of those hates are like very personal. How long have you been ill? And I was like, what are you asking to me right now? Yeah, so you're a woman and you shaved your head. And I'm like, yes, and that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Ça apporte énormément de, de complexité, euh, ben voilà, notamment sur les femmes, avec leur corps. Your single metal, you absolutely do not look like it. I would not guess it at all. You have to, to prove that you're not just here on stage to be the pretty thing that people will look at. I definitely, um, you know, know what it's like to not be taken seriously. Sometimes I don't get taken seriously at, at first. I know that I have been paid less for doing the same job as somebody who is a male and, and I did it better. And you get a real job, that was always what I heard. And I thought, man, I'm doing a real job. I work 10 times more than you do. If I want to say something and I want it to take, uh, I want it to be taken seriously, uh, I need to take a different kind of tone in it. I need to keep up with that kind of language and uh, that kind of attitude. And this is terrible because I just, I'm a woman and I just want to be who I am and I don't want to have to play myself in another role. You'd constantly get guys coming up to you. Oh yeah, you're pretty good for a chick. If someone comes to me and says, you play well for a girl, that pisses me off. <laughs> a lot of times we'd get people, you know, with that kind of crossed arms in the back of the room reaction as soon as they see me get up on stage. Are there no men in this band? And I said, nope, just us girls. And he said, well, who, who, he was truly confused and said, well, who, who tells y'all what to play? So it's always that like assumption that um, either I'm, I am one of their girlfriends or I am just like, a roadie or I'm the merch girl or I'm just with the band. Oh, are you the merch girl or whose girlfriend are you? I'm coming back here to get work done. Like I have a deadline and a job that needs to get done. So I get paid, so get out of my way. Talking to me like I had no idea what the hell a guitar amp was, a pedal, anything. As soon as you get there, just go over and talk to somebody right away about something technical. This channel on Red does this and this orange, he's talking to me like I'm a child. You're always just gonna have those ignorant people that don't understand what they're seeing. Their little brains can't fathom it. They don't understand it. Yeah, and if you do this, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I work in a music store back home. I like sell these, like, it's cool. Like I know how to use it. They were expecting me to be intelligent or professional. Oh, she's pretty and she can sing, so let's just, use her to, you know, get some fans. The first thing that he told me, even before listening to my music, was, how would you think of getting breast implants? That was so not right. It's not something you say. Like, there's a lot of people that are not to be trusted out there, and that sucks. He said something worse, actually, but I'm just, like, sugarcoating it. But there's definitely sexism out there. Um, there's still sexual assault out there. There was definitely some predatory men who tried to take advantage of that or exploit that. More, more common than not, unfortunately. Some men are not very comfortable with women expressing their opinions and saying no. Now I stood up for myself and it's hard because sometimes you feel like if you don't, that, you know, that's it and, and, it's, and it's over for you. We too have visions, we too have skills, competences, ideas. And I believe that now more than ever is the time to reveal our potential as women and show the world that we can do everything. Don't use your body. Don't use your physical beauty to become popular. It's 
the beauty, most beautiful quest is to yeah, look, look deep within who we are and let that beauty come out. Don't go over your borders. If you're saying, hey, I don't want to do this, never do it. Never try to imitate one or another singer and never try to follow someone else's path. The world is missing you. Don't feel that you have to please other people. Trust in your individuality. J'ai envie de citer Sting qui dit uh, be yourself no matter what they say. <laughs> if you love heavy metal and that's why you're there, that passion will be heard behind the music and people will love you even more for it. If you have something that you want to do and you believe in it, go for it. There will always be naysayers and there's a lot of them. It's tough the, to, to hear what people have to say about you and think about you. You're gonna get torn down probably in the beginning. You're gonna have a lot to learn. So just, you know, let it happen, learn it and move on. Yeah, I dealt with a lot of rejection before I got my first internships and before I, you know, got to the job that I am at now. You have to be prepared to get yourself hurt many times before you get anywhere. Even, you know, when people say it's not worth it, never give up, always believe in yourself. Don't be afraid to fail, because you're gonna fail, just keep, you have to keep trying. Don't think, well, just because you're a girl, it makes a difference, because it doesn't. And it only makes a difference if you think it does. And keep following your dreams and don't let anyone get in the way of that. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, you're not good enough, because at the end of the day, you are if you believe that in yourself and you keep trying and you keep pushing yourself out there. Work hard. Don't just dream, but also do. If you are afraid of something, maybe that's because you really should do it. Always listen to your heart and never listen to the negative, nagging voice in your head that is telling you that you are not good enough because, honey, you are good enough. Don't listen to someone if they say you can't sing. There's nobody that can't sing. There's just people that haven't been given given themselves permission to practice. You know, consistent work routines, so practicing. Study and learn things so you don't depend on anybody and you can do it. You are strong. Just never give up. I mean, if you feel like you really want to do something, just do it. You gotta follow your heart. Nobody can tell you what it is. You really have to find out. What is the stuff that makes you happy to find your style? Be kind. Be kind to every single person you, you meet along the way. Don't be afraid to reach out and to ask questions. Not being afraid to reach out to others in the learning stages is extremely important. You can learn something from everybody. So the more people you can play with or take lessons from, the better. Try to like always appreciate the work of others instead of comparing yourself and competing with them. Keep supporting other women too. And not just, not just white cis women. The most important one of all is respect your fans because without them, you are nothing. And that's literally the truth. Without them, you are nowhere. No one is listening to you. No one is buying your stuff. No one is going to your shows. They are the reason why you exist. They're not numbers, they're people, and they love your music, and they buy it, and, you know, they keep you going. So make sure that you always just love them. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>